So we're continuing now with lesson 10 of our step-by-step -step tutorial and we've just um, added an event handle to the button to um, open up the uh, window but uh, at this point our window doesn't look anything like uh, what we're trying to achieve so let's go back now and start setting properties on this uh, window so let's go back to design mode now and then let's go to this uh, drop down window and if you if you click on the uh, window drop down menu one uh, entry in the uh, uh, list here and then scroll and then uh, go over to the right hand side to your window properties in the property sheet then click on the smart field uh, for the window property so this is where we can define all of the properties of our drop down window so the first thing that we'd like to do is give this window an explicit name so currently the name is set to default so let's click on the smart field here and uh, um, we'll uh, go here and we'll call this window drop down menu now the reason that we're giving the uh, window an explicit name is so that we can programmatically close it um, using our own JavaScript code and uh, the uh, text over here describes the technique used for closing the window but we uh, we don't need to worry about that for the time being so let's just click um, OK now let's go and choose the window type um, this we have different types of windows we have pop-up windows modal windows but in this particular case we'd like a drop-down window and then the sub theme is what controls the visual appearance of the window we'd like to choose the uh, drop-down sub theme over there and then um, let's leave the drop-down position uh, blank for the time being we'll come back to it and then we also want the window height and width to be set to blank over here because this means that the window then will take on the size of its content so if you leave the window height and width blank then the window will automatically be sized based on the content of the window and then finally we'd like to turn on the has pointer option because we'd like the window uh, to show a little pointer pointing to the button that was used uh, to click it so let's go ahead now click the OK button go back to working preview and see how close we are to our desired goal so now when we click on the menu button we we do in fact get the um, menu popping up but the menu is popping up um, um, and partly obliterated by the, uh, the the preview mode and the reason that it's being obliterated is that we should have actually set the position of the menu so that the uh, pointer was on the right edge of the window and that the window showed over here also we can see that the window currently has a title which we'd like to turn off etc so let's go back to design mode now go back to this window and now go and set the window position and we'd like the window position to be drop down right um, so that's going to uh, address that problem and then let's turn off the window title and also turn off the ability to resize the window because we don't need to, to be able to resize the window so let's go ahead now again click OK go back to uh, working preview click on a customer record and then click on the menu and now we can see that we're close uh, the menu is popping up in the correct place but there's um, the black border around the menu is too big and the buttons themselves look just a little bit too small to be comfortable for a mobile device so let's go back now and go to each one of these buttons and change the height from the default to say 40 pixels so I'd like to make the first one 40 pixels now to make the other two buttons 40 pixels I can either select the button and set the property individually or I can use the um, paste property uh, icon over there scroll down there's the first button then select the next two buttons and say uh, set property so that's gone ahead now and set the property and then um, let's pause now and pick it up in the next video where we'll set the uh, padding around the window to be just a little bit smaller